So I wanted to show you guys uh, look inside this hydraulic test kit box that I've put together over a number of years. And uh, it's served me well when I need it. Uh, it's analog, um, so um, it's kind of old school, but I actually prefer that in some instances. And uh, it's in another one of my used Pelican boxes, which I love. So yeah, let's pull it out and take a look. Yes, these Pelican boxes are great. I always keep an eye out for them on Craigslist. It's a pretty expensive new. I don't think I have a new one, <laughs> but I've got quite a few of the old ones. Okay, so here's the first one. And so like I said, a lot of this I've had or kind of bought one at a time when I needed it. And these are HydroCheck uh gauges and i think i bought these all at once um and i think i might have gotten them online because i think i blew one i needed another and it, it was a good price and so i went ahead on it um, but i have gotten a lot of stuff through the guys down there at advanced hydraulics um, who keep a lot of this stuff right in stock if i had to do it again i think i'd probably go there so I think, let's see, I go from, uh, what, 600 down here in the low end up to 7,000. And for what I've done so far, that's been perfectly adequate. Uh, one of the things I like about the analog gauges is that they're pretty steady. You know, they're not as accurate. And I think maybe with today's, you know, newer stuff, maybe that accuracy could be quite important. But... One of the things I've really noticed about um, when I've used digital gauges is they, you know, they it, it's hard to get them to like, you know, stabilize. And maybe that's just because uh, I'm ignorant with the use of them. But that was one of the things I noticed. Whereas these will, you know, set and they might move somewhat if there are fluctuations in the system you're testing, but it's more stable. So. Um, I've been really happy with them. I've got them set up with uh, <laughs> these, uh, I think these are the M16-2 uh, uh, connectors. And um, I, I really like those. Uh, it, it's definitely a good, uh, good connector. Um, and then various adapters here. Um, these are, the gauges are primarily set up to go on hose, which we'll get to in the next tray, but uh, um, adapters, and I think with this stuff and, you know, you know, uh, service, field service mechanics, you know, they'll have like four, four boxes of fittings because you can never have enough. There's always something that, you know, confuses you, but I've got a pretty good selection. And as I said, some of the stuff I've had for decades, you know, and specific stuff and, and, uh, um, it's, you know, so far it's, it, you know, it, it served me pretty well. If I, if I don't have it, I get it. And, uh, then I've got it for the next time. Um, these are uh, that M16 uh, union for hose to hose. And uh, I put these trays together, um, the yellow back and down there, I glued this foam to it. Um, I, that that uh, the yellow plastic actually came on a sheet of Lexan I came, I got when I bought a uh, sheet of Lexan to replace windows and a bunch of I was running. And I like how it looks. This was before, a long time ago, I built this and, and I don't know if that Kaizen foam was around. And so this foam was specifically, I got it so it was oil resistant and it's held up pretty well. So yeah, so that's the first tray there, gauges and adapters. And then in the second tray, that's a vacuum gauge there. Um, and then this line, and I think I've got 320s um, here. And I did that because when I was testing a lot on this one particular machine, I was doing it by myself. And so I needed um, to be able to set it up on the valve and run it into the cab where I could watch the gauge and, and cycle different functions, which um, if you're working by yourself, is pretty handy. So I can use those uh, adapters to union these uh, lines up. And um, yeah, then a couple kinds of Teflon tape. Uh, we got a couple uh, um, Baco 
adjustables there. I, re I really like these. It's it's interesting. They're uh, I really like the feel. It's, and Baco is a good tool. Um, one of the things that's kind of interesting though, they're they're it's thinner at the top than it is at the bottom. So it keeps it on. You know, if, when you tighten it down, it'll stay on your fastener, but it won't slide off. You got to loosen it. So. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'd get those again as a result of that, but need a couple, need a you know a couple fasteners or a couple uh, wrenches and adjustables are great to have on hand uh, when you when you need to set uh, set a line or a gauge on, and then Teflon tape and uh, this stuff here I've used. Um, it, it's a it's a valve grease and um, it's plumbing product, but uh, I found that works pretty good. I try to dose those M16 um, adapters, you know, that are on the machine, and because uh, I've had trouble with them uh, leaking, and uh, as maybe some of the other guys have too. So then the last pot or the last tray in here is adapters, and again, this is kind of a lot of this stuff was bought one at a time or several at a time in hopes I'd get the right one. And it, it's just like it is, I mean, it's adapters, you know, got kind of ORS to JIC there, um, running T's, different kinds, ORS, uh, JIC, um, you know, pipe to JIC, you know, all the, all the oddballs got some quick couples there, um, different styles of it, you know, the M16 um, adapters there, uh, pipe to pipe, pipe to pipe, uh, female, another uh, quick couple there. Yeah, just like all this, all this stuff. And, and by no means is that comprehensive, but it's, it's a pretty good start. I actually had Dan out from Triad. He was doing some service for me a while ago and we needed an adapter and he didn't have it. And I looked in this and by golly, we had it here. So then a couple of little flex whips too. Those are pretty handy. Um, also this one, I think, yeah, is number four JIC on both ends. And then there's a pipe to pipe there. And um, I think I got those back when I had on processors. And yeah, so Anyhow, again, the, you know, the, uh, the um, holders have held up really well, and these are pretty old now. I mean, I think they're well over 10 years old. Some of this stuff is newer because I keep adding to it. I haven't had a chance to be into the um, Tiger Cat myself for gauges. Uh, we have checked the pressures a couple times, but Dan's been out um, from Triad, and he's done that. Um, I do run that Tiger Cat at that factory spec, so I think that avoids a lot of problems by doing that. Turn it up, you're gonna you're gonna have troubles. But so anyhow, hope it's interesting. Any comments? Love to hear from you. Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.